I have good news and I have bad news and a little bit of in between. So the Google helpful content update is complete. Woohoo, we're dancing, we're jumping up and down. The damage has been done. But the Google spam update, right, it's not complete. So that one could be even more devastating than the last. So I asked Charles Float, and if you don't know Charles, he's an extremely good SEO. He's known for some awesome tactics that make a lot of money online. And I said, Charles, man, after the HCU, what would you recommend? Three things three things to recommend for people who own niche websites after hcu now listen before we get into the recommendations check out this video here do you see it google september 2023 help this is a good video i watched it i'm like wow man so much value in that video now jumping into the recommendations my question was if you had three things to focus on that's it his first recommendation was and i'll read it brand building on your homepage and your links Entity stack and social profile, citations, references, sites, bio sites, etc. But there's a lot to unpack here. Here's my question to you. If I go to your website, right, do you have a logo? Do you have an address? Do you have a phone number? Is your niche website acting like a real business? Because NAP is part of entity stack. And so Charles is saying build a brand. Well, a brand, if you were Nike, don't you think you're going to have like a corporate page with all the addresses for each and every place, headquarters, these type of things? Think like a real brand. Would you have a Twitter page? Would you have a LinkedIn page? Would you have IG? All these type of things matter. So here's the recommendation. This is the first, remember, brand building, right, on your homepage and your links. So homepage, you know your footer down there below, you know, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. That is where you can dominate this EEAT type of stuff. So we're just teasing apart the EEAT, really. Now, if you know any good, very good local SEO experts, I'd, I'd recommend first off checking out Chris Palmer's channel. I've talked to Chris a lot. He's a good local. He's a very good local SEO expert. And a lot of things local SEO experts talk about has to do with NAP consistency, web 2.0 backlinks, these type of things. And that is entity stacking. Now, sometimes jargon can be confusing in this space, right? Jargon is just like technical terms. I don't like jargon. So an entity technically is like a thing, like a tangible thing, like a noun is an entity as Google sees it. And when I think of entity stacking, in my mind also goes to topical authority. Now, we're talking about two different things. I want to be clear, but before I go into the second recommendation, this is Bonsai Mary, right? We're doing okay on this website, but when I go and I talk about ficus, all of these articles, 96, right? I'm going to write about all the stinking ficuses in the world. And this is autoblogging, right? We have a masterclass on that right now. Pretty insane type of output if it's just for an autoblog. My goodness gracious. But when you go and you dominate something, to me, that has to do with entity topical authority, which is different than what Charles Float is talking about here. Now, recommendation number two is to match the SERP intent, not the user intent. Very interesting. Google shows you what it wants. So, I mean, it, how does it show us what it wants? If you look here, I have the best Huffy bicycle typed in. You tell me. What does Google think the intent of this SERP is? This, this, uh, you know, the keyword we type in, the SERP is the search results, right? Jargon yet again, jargon stinks, but we got to use it. It thinks you want to buy a bike. So before you try to rank anything on Google, type the keyword in and see what is there. Now, Charles' third recommendation is very good. Higher quality doesn't just mean more content. It means better intent matching in the content with shorter, more concise answers. We'll get into the rest of it, but listen, why would you give the answer of your article at the top? Why would you do that? They want, they're not going to read the rest of your article. I've heard that a million times. The reason is if Google knows that they come to your page, they come and they search around, and they get the answer. They don't search that query anymore. You've given them what they want. If they bounce off your page and go looking for the same darn thing that Google knows, well, that page must have not been as useful as it could have been. So let's keep going with this, right? More concise answers that feed Google's AI summarization ambitions. They are training the ML. I'll go on right now. That's yet to be seen. That could be some crazy stuff, right? As well as quality signals like rich media schema, user engagement signals, right? What is a huge user engagement signal? What I was talking about, right? How long do they stay on page? What is their behavior flow? Where are they going on your website? Once they get to the landing page, it should be sticky like, like a web and they're stuck and they stay on your website. That matters a lot. So here we go. User engagement signals and UX. A super easy UX thing is readability. A lot of themes and site owners make their fonts super small for no reason, which Google dislikes. I talked to Mediavine. They recommend a 16-pixel font 
Why? Because it works. They see trends. They have a lot of different websites they work with. Now, you want to know something funny? By the way, I have a Twitter account now. It's not very big, but go check that out. So Charles is known for Parasite F SEO. He's known for these type of things, backlinks, very good at these things. But none of the recommendations, right? None of the recommendations he gave us has to do with that. That means it's accessible to you. A lot of those things you can do yourself. Very, very easy. But check this out. He said, I've been using trending topics to bait media and to link into my site for many years. Here's a quick rundown of how I do it. So let's check this out. On to the case studies. This is a case of baiting media for links with consensus on trending topics. All it is, is you find trending topics to create content on that attracts links based on the consensus of that topic already. Step one for this case study. So listen, before we go on, consensus of a thing. Remember we typed into Google, the Huffy Bikes thing. What was the consensus? The consensus was you want to buy a bike. Well, that can work for anything. Type in your keyword at the Google, figure it out. Find a topic before it goes truly, truly viral. It's a lot easier than you might think to actually find these topics before they're going viral. Twitter, TikTok, Google Trends, and Exploding Topics by Brian Dean is going to be your best friend when it comes to this style of link building, right? Because Twitter trending, YouTube trending, TikTok, all of that kind of stuff is going to show you all the topics that are currently trending or going up. And anything. Now, this may or may not work for all niches, but I bet it works for most that's trending on social media generally has an afterglow effect in Google, right? Because it will have an after effect once it's already spiked in, in Twitter, that's when it'll start spiking in Google. On to the case studies. Pretty interesting, right? So, so it should be apparent to you that you, you watch my YouTube videos, right? That's great. You watch other YouTube, but there's Twitter. There's a big SEO community on Twitter that you should probably check out because there's a lot of a lot of knowledge there, big, big knowledge base on Twitter. Now let's pretend I'm a blogger for the first time, never done this, and I wanna take Charles's recommendations to heart. I'm gonna get Astra as the theme, why it's fast and they update it, you can customize it easy peasy so it can grow with you. Now look, these themes here out of the box will work. They will work for you. Don't overcomplicate this thing with a fancy theme. Now, on top of that, I need NAP. I need a name for my website. That's your brand. You need an address, right? You can kind of, let me tell you, let's just back up. Let me tell you that local businesses, fake local businesses, sometimes hide addresses in warehouses throughout wherever the heck in the United States and the nation. Why? Well, it's very easy because you have these shared spaces in warehouses. I'm getting off topic a little bit, but if you need an address, not a hard way to do it. And a phone number. Phone numbers can be acquired for like $7. I use a service for like $20, right? So then we have a website up and running. Now you need to learn how to do keyword research. There's a lot of different good people teaching this stuff. If you want to consume free content, check out my channel. Like, I the, I don't know, there's like 100 videos here. You could do it all for free, right? But if you want to get into the nitty gritty and you want to like really expedite this learning process, I have a master class. It's called the Advanced SEO Master Class. Other people have great ones too, but that will expedite. Master classes are meant to expedite this whole darn process. And to just whittle this down all the way to the essence, we're going to ask ChatGPT if you were to sum up this recommendation into one sentence, only one sentence, what would it be? And it said, here it is, to optimize your brand, build an efforts on your homepage and links, focus it on matching SERP intent, not the user intent by providing concise, high quality content aligned with Google's AI summarization goals, including reach media, schema, user engagement, and UX improvements. And that is a lot, it still makes my head explode. So I said, do it in three words only, match SERP intent. I said, try again, okay. It was just going to flip it on us. But that's pretty good. If you have the basis of NAP on your website, a real brand, right? And then you can match the SERP intent. You can provide the stuff that Google wants, number one, because we are writing for Google first, the user second. Never forget that because we need to rank to get in front of people. That's the whole goal. Google first, user second.